Hello guys, welcome back. Over the week, Benna Boy opened his mansion up to Architectural Digest, a channel on YouTube that showcases some of the, the best houses of some of the celebrities, the interior and whatever they have within the house to their fans and their viewers as well. So Benna Boy opened his mansion up to Architectural Digest and he revealed a lot of things, a lot of beautiful things in the home of the African giants this truly shows that he is an african giant because some of the things in the house are full of music the guy leaves music now when he opened the house up in the downstairs or at the downstairs of the house he has the inspiration room now inspiration room is full of is full of artwork and pictures of legends like fella Kuti, bob Mali, and several several other legends that we have in the music world he has his their pictures pasted all over the walls of the inspiration room and he also has pictures of his mom and dad on the same wall he says he goes into that room anytime he needs inspiration to record or think about being creative or being on his feet to record something nice and then he has the painting room the painting room according to Benner is used often by his little sister because his little sister knows how to paint a lot most of the painting that in the room in the in the house or in the in the home it was made by the sister because according to Benno boy the sister knows how to paint and paint very well and then that was the downstairs afterwards he took the crew to the top side or the upstairs of the house where he has a room that is full of awards that he has received including the grammys that he won recently with twice a store album that that room is full of a lot of records that he has done his album his awards that he he has framed a lot of them and posted on the wall also serving as another inspiration room or another motivation room anytime he sees all the achievement that he has done be pasted on the wall after that he there's a little bar or a little he called he called it a little bar so a bar session that if something small that anytime he want to have a little bit of alcohol in his system wine and stuff like that in his system he goes to that side to get some of those bottles into his system now he took the team outside to the garden side where you could find a swimming pool now underneath the swimming pool there's a design of the african giant written boldly underneath the swimming pool to show or to remind everybody that enters into that house or enters into that pool that yo you are in the house of the african giants the giant of african music the guy that produced one of the best albums that we've, we've seen on the continent for, for for decades i mean we have a lot of great musicians but Benner boy came into the scene i mean with a revived energy and took african music afrobeat to the next level so underneath the pool as as, as african giant written boldly and then there's a realization area where he goes to sit to have barbecue with friends to have just a nice time with friends and also hang out with people that come to visit him now shocking enough you think Benner boy doesn't pray he has a prayer area at the garden side where i mean the garden side of the house is, is designed like an island it gives you that island vibe you you feel like okay you're in a different space within the house that is what Benna boy has done and he has a session where he goes to pray yes Benna boy prays a lot he told the team that is where he wakes up every morning to go and pray now he moved the team to the cinema side the cinema side is filled with movies that he personally loves a lot movies that he he watches over and over and over again some of the movies that we saw on the wall included scarface you know scarface one of the popular movies that was released years ago Benna boy has pictures of the movie or frame on the wall he also has money has i mean obviously a lot of people have watched money has because money has became a popular series on netflix Benna boy has a frame of them the uh, series on his wall in his mansion and then finally he took the team to his sneaker room where there are a lot of i mean you know he's a superstar these superstars they never run short on sneakers Benna boy has Mm, I can say hundreds of sneakers I mean in that sneaker room alone and then where the magic happens that the music recording studio where he has almost all kinds of instruments that can make him 
record some of the best records so guys i mean that has been it banner boy opened his mansion up to his fans and it's such a classic place it's such a beautiful place i mean that a superstar like him lives in to create magic for you guys classics like this thank you for watching